Hi everyone, we're back to playing Undisputed and in this video I wanted to try out a new mode on the main hub screen which is called the prize fights. I played a couple of these fights earlier, I won a couple of them and I lost the uh, Marciana Choice one I think. So I'm going to try them again but let's start with the Wilder versus Lewis fight. I think these are really cool. You get to play with some of the characters that I guess you haven't or boxes that you haven't played with before. And I think that's a really cool way of kind of bringing in new characters. You get to play with them. You get, I think, one attempt a day. You don't really get unlimited attempts. So if you lose, you lose. But you can keep on playing with them and your points kind of aggregate they add up over time and then there's like a leaderboard for each one of these prize fights and the other thing i notice about this prize fight menu is that it changes so i don't know if it changes on a weekly basis or a monthly basis but i do see them change so here we go this is the wilder one um and this is the first fight i ever fought and i won with wilder last time let's see how it goes this time around and that's what gave me the idea that I should make a video about this in case people still want to see what some of the high profile fighters look like in this game and what the graphics kind of look like. I feel like the Wilder look, they got perfect. Like he looks really good. This is Joe Lewis. Um, I feel like the, the character, the skin textures and the colors and the shadows of the faces and the body, I think they're getting that right pretty well. Even like, you know, just the hair. Um, but on the women's side, I guess the hair is more prominent, so the hair didn't look that good to me. Because one of these prize fights is uh, a women's boxing fight, and the hair kind of was weird. You know, you know how hair can look in a video game, and that's what it was, and I didn't like it that much. But the facial expression, I feel like they can improve too, and the eyes a little bit. But everything else looks pretty good. Let's see how this one goes. And they all do this, like this, while they're in the ring, this is what basically every boxer does. While their name is being announced, they're just like pacing back and forth, left and right in that corner. So it would be nice to really see some variety of things happening and the boxers doing different things in corners while they're waiting. Because uh, right now they all look exactly the same. So I'm going to just press A and get this fight going. Uh, this is... Ooh, ooh, he already got me. Okay, okay. There you go. Got him with that. I think a lot of this is like uh, what I struggle with is the stamina and I think that was my deal with the fight night games also. <laughs> Just never got very good at them because stamina, oh there you go, that was a good one. Ah, oh, and the range, I feel like range is really hard to get in this game. You feel like Wilder is tall. Oh, there you go. Like, I want to step back, and while backing up, I want to jab. But a lot of times, the guys don't follow you. And when they do, you feel like you're not getting it. You're not getting the range right. It's hard to get the range right. And a lot of the hooks are really short hooks. Oh, come on. The clinch. That was good. There's a tactic to clinch, and when you clinch, you, you take Oh, it I stayed in the pocket too long. I was trying to move back, but sometimes um, I'm noticing with the joystick, the left joystick that you use to kind of move around. Sometimes while you're playing it, you press it, and you're not realizing you're pressing it, and that's actually a different move. So that's the slipping. So when I press down on the joystick, he does different kinds of like slip moves like that, like this move, right? So when and I'm like in an intense situation and I'm trying to like move back instead of moving back I'm actually without realizing and pressing the stick ooh tried to score with the uppercut sometimes what I don't get right is like the left right arms like I keep on getting this left jab for example right but sometimes I try to throw the right jab and, and it just doesn't doesn't work i don't know what i'm doing with the joystick wrong i think it's just like the angle at which i keep on hitting it that's what's happening but you know i guess it takes a little bit of getting used this is literally i think my fourth fight i'm playing in this game 
Ooh, you ducked. There you go. I could do that too, bro. Ooh, nice, nice. His hooks are going. Nice, stunned him. Come on. This. Oh, there you go. I got that uppercut right in the middle, but. Yeah, I can't capitalize on this. Done. Bomb. First, second round, right? Second round, we got a knockdown. So yesterday, I also played my first online game against a, a real opponent. And on this opponent, it said that they were a beta, a certified beta tester. So I played like a certified beta tester. He knocked me out in two rounds, guys. Two rounds. He pegged George Foreman. Ooh, that was good, right? He picked George Foreman, and I had picked Wilder, actually. No, no, I picked Tyson Fury, and he picked, uh, no, it wasn't even George Foreman. I don't know who he picked, but whatever he picked, he came at me, got me. He, he knocked me down, I think, once in the first. There you go. And then in the second round, I was gone. Oh, body shot. Back up, Wilder, back up. So, there you go. If you get the controls right a little bit. I mean, this feels like a mismatch anyway. Look how big Wilder is, how tall the reach and everything. You know, Wilder should win this. If I have even just the basic understanding of the controls, which is all I do right now anyway. I think what was hard to get used to was this... Oh, oh, he got me after the bell, man. That's my stuff. So it, it says that if you throw and connect punches, and if you make the other person miss punches, then your stamina and other whatever the other thing is, the physical well-being, they improve faster. So as you can see, like right now, uh, Wilder's red bar, I, I don't know which one that is. Is that the damage or is that whatever it is? I got 100%. So I got a boost and and his boost um, doesn't really help him as much. So you you, you boost quicker if you make them... Ooh. Ooh, he came. He came to fight. Now he's moving around. Ooh. Let me move out the way. Ooh, ooh. He mad. Where's your head at? Yeah, see, I keep on. Yeah, there you go. I'm trying to get this right jab going, but I, I only, I, I wanted to do the one two, but one two is really, yeah, that right there. I got in that. Ooh, ooh. Let me move up. Let me move back. We gotta move around a little bit. He's moving around now. Got him. Got him. That temple shot. Oh no. How am I missing my uppercut? There you go. That Wilder. Oh, let me get that body shot. Let me get that body shot. Bomb. Gone. There you go. I think that guy's out. Third knockdown. It's game over for you, Lewis. There you go. That's, that's KO. He's out. So there you have it. That's what, you know, Wilder looks like. I don't consider myself very good, but, you know, this game went pretty well. This is the second time I'm, I'm fighting with Wilder and, and doing this uh, prize fight. So in the last one, I actually took it a lot deeper into the later half of the fight. I think it, it was in the seventh that I won. But in this case, I guess I've learned a little bit. Uh, so I ended in the second. So there you have it. Let me know what you think about this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.